It's also a dehumidifier. So you've got three items in one. It covers a 700 square foot room. It's portable, it's easy to use, and I just am cool as a cucumber right now. This is nice, and you know what? It's not crazy, crazy loud either, so I like that as well. V36706 is the item number. Let me show you some colors. I wanna let you know value as well, but let me go through your colors first because we kind of have something for everyone. So we, we have streamers not included, but uh, we're, we'll explain why we've got the streamers coming up. This is gonna be the light gray option. And it really is like a nice light gray, almost an undertone of taupe a bit, a, a bit in there. We also have it for you in the dark gray. So you can see this is gonna be a couple of shades deeper. If you're looking clean and sleek, I would say go with one of our two end units here. This is the black. And then finally, we have it for you in the white. And this is gonna be an eggshell white. It's not gonna be a stark, 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 bright white. Value. If you went to DeLonghi's website, this would cost $599.95. We've taken $159.96, so almost $160 off of that. Our price is $439 and change. It's on reduced shipping and handling, which also saves you money because the shipping and handling should be 53 and change. It's less than 20. Best easy payment plan that we offer, so this would be $73.33 a month if you use a major credit card. Q card, you can do the six easy payments or you have the option here to pay for this in 12 months so then your payment's a little bit closer to like $34, $35 or so. I'm not good at math on the fly. And as long as you pay for it within 12 months, you don't have to pay any interest. So I like that. It is hot outside. Maybe you live in a place that's humid and you're looking for a dehumidifier. This is both of those in one and it has an awesome fan. And Sean Pickford's here because Sean knows a lot more about this than I do. I pretty much just capped out at what I can do with this. It's nice Hello, and cool. sir. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see I, you. I was before the show started, I ran in here. I just leaned over this and just kind of stood here. It's cool air, but this isn't just filling this, it's filling up to 700 square feet. Yeah, this is the largest capacity DeLonghi cooling unit that we have on QVC right now. So 700 square feet of cooling space. Could be in a large room, mm -hmm. could be in an entire second floor, could be in an entire apartment, depending on where you live. And it's easy as plugging it in. There's no tools required to get this up and running. So we've made it as easy as possible for you to get a beautiful, cool room, a house, whatever it might be. And you get the unit itself. You're gonna be getting a programmable thermostat, the yes. window mounting kit and a remote, and I see the hose. So we do wanna keep this by a window. Yeah, I mean, okay. you need to be within about five feet of a window in order to make this work, because you need to connect this hose because we're actually exchanging the air. When it's hot, muggy and everything mm -hmm. else, that was, makes us feel uncomfortable. But we're getting that out of the house. How do we do that? Through this tube. So if you put your hand on the tube, feel the temperature difference here. It's warm. Oh, that's warm. Yeah, it's taking that hot air that's in our home here and it's telling us it's 74 degrees in here right now because the built-in thermostat is telling us and it's pushing that air outside. I actually have it set to go down to 66 degrees. Oh. So when we got to 66 degrees, this would actually turn itself off. It's just like your heater or just like your thermostat that you have in your home. It gets to the temperature, it turns itself off. So it's not running all the time. It's very efficient. And it's it smart. Works. Yes. So it's an air conditioner, but then I can also just use it as a fan. Yeah. So the one on the end where the streamers are going, uh -huh. that's sitting out in the center of our room there. We don't have to have the tube hooked up here because all we're doing is recirculating the air that's in our QVC home. Okay. So you can plug this in anywhere. You can sit it in the center of the room. You can tuck it in the corner, whatever you want. The fan has three different speeds on it, so you can control it from the unit here or the remote control that nests in the back here. Oh, look at that. So right now we have it on the low speed, and it's still, it tells us 74 degrees. We're in fan mode. We want to put it up to high. We can do that. We want to step it down to medium. We can do that as well. And then we're still not done because it's also a dehumidifier. It's also a dehumidifier. That's the key part here. Every air conditioner by nature mm -hmm. is a dehumidifier. Humidifier. We put a special button in here so it's just a dehumidifier because sometimes it's the humidity in the air that is unreal. It's like you could cut it with a knife. It's uh, so thick. Yes. That's what makes us feel so uncomfortable. So we have a button on there that just does that. You can see this is designed for rooms up to 700 square feet. We can drop the temperature in an 8x8x8 eight 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 room, which is a smaller room, 10 degrees in a matter of 30 minutes, which is really fast, especially on a 90 degree day. 
So it removes 80 pints of moisture a day. Well, what does that mean? That's 10 gallons of water in a day and you don't have to touch a thing because it's that moisture, the humidity Ugh. that makes us feel uncomfortable. That makes us cranky. Yes. <laughs> Quite frankly, am I just speaking for myself? Sorry. <laughs> you can see this is how it works. We're drawing in that moist air through the back. We're trapping the moisture in the bottom. It's getting pushed out through the tube, the red arrows. The nice cool air comes out of the front of the unit so you feel the relief. And for the dehumidifier and the AC, we want to make sure we use the hose to attach it to the outside. Yeah, if you're just going to use this as a fan, you can have it wherever. That's exactly okay. it. So you can see this is how the dehumidifier works. It actually pulverizes the water we collect and makes it into a fine mist and pushes it out through that tube. So there's no dripping outside on your house. There's not that rust stain that you're accustomed to seeing with those big box mm. window air conditioners. Because it's the fine mist that goes out, dissipates, you don't know it's there. Very, 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 very nice. It's easy. And if you're saying DeLonghi, hmm, more than 100 years. Right. And they're found in more than 123 countries. Right. This is a company that this is what they do, yep. small household appliances. Yeah, that's exactly it. They're the ones that actually brought air conditioning to the United States from Italy. So they know what they're talking about when it comes to portable air conditioning. They sell a lot of other white goods too. You see their names on the coffee makers and all the mm -hmm. cool things out there. They specialize in air conditioning. So I don't have to kind of wrestle with this to get it in my window. No. I can just put it by the window. Right. And then what do I do from there? So it's really easy and we can actually show you over here how it works. So you can see the one we have hooked up here is in our window. As long as your window in this, in this case opens up and down like this guy does here. Okay. Okay. Or it slides side to side like this. This is going to work for you because you can customize the size. So we tried to make it really easy. This is your window panel. Okay. Okay. So you can start out, we'll go to the largest width that you can have. So if your window is this wide, being 47 inches, this will work for you. Wow. If your window is really narrow and you don't need this extension here or this extension here, now you're down to 18 inches. Okay. If it's even smaller than that, as long as you don't come close to the hole here, yes, you could cut this with the saw and customize it oh, okay. into a really small window. Now, to get it into the window, fairly easy. All you're going to do is basically take your panels, and you can see I use the larger one here and the smaller one because mm -hmm. this slides and nests in one another. I push the window down. We give you this little piece seal so here, so I'm sealing out any of the moisture. So it's a little strip that comes in your kit. You can see it's about three feet long. You can cut it to size, whatever it might be. So that's there's, that little kind of black yeah. tape looking thing yep. that we see there, up there. Got there's it. There's sticky tape on the one side. So this seals everything out. You make a nice tight seal. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to clip. This actually snaps into place. Okay. So this is your flexible tubing then. So your tube looks like this when you get it. You're going to screw these ends on. Screw them on counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. It's most people use righty tighty. This is opposite. Okay, so, so this is not righty tighty lefty loosey. No, it's is, the opposite. This is opposite. Okay. So, so this piece here is going to click into the back of the unit. There's little tabs on the side here that will actually, you can see one there, one over here. They actually click on. That's all you need to do. Again, you're going to screw this end on. This goes into the window kit itself. It pops into place. Now, this is flexible for a reason because you might not be able to be right under the window. Okay. Maybe there's a chair in the way. Maybe yeah. you're going around a corner. Whatever it might be, but this one is flexible. Okay? That you was fast. To, yeah. <laughs> That's how easy this is to use. So when you put the two ends on, this is five feet long. So right. you have five feet away from where your window is to where you can have the unit. So you can see, I don't have it pushed up against the wall. No. I have three feet away from the wall and I have plenty of tube left here. Well, and I'm guessing too, because you're gonna have the pull and the push of air, you don't wanna have it flush against the wall anyway. Right. You wanna have a little bit of space. Exactly. All of a sudden it got cooler. And I think, you know, whether you're just looking to cool down a room because you don't have central air conditioning, but you wanna be able to have the bedroom cool, there's the installation. Yep. So, so you put that little plastic little yeah, pin in there. Yeah, there's two little tabs that we give you that you can put in there. There you can see, see how she's screwing it on clockwise, mm -hmm. counterclockwise. There's how they clip into place. It plugs into a standard household outlet. You do not need an electrician. You don't need a 20 amp circuit. 
All you do is find an outlet, plug it in, and you are good to go. Okay, and then you sit down and you relax. And honestly, this is nice, cool air that's coming out of here. But I feel it like it's not just right here. You feel it as soon as no, I came around the corner. You could feel the difference. And I was I was saying to you earlier, we have three stories: we have the basement, we have the main living floor, and we have our upstairs. The basement, I need my winter coat to go down because it's so cold. <laughs> yes. Upstairs, I'm in bed and I'm like, I can't. And we've got a ceiling fan and a standing fan. It, it, uh, this is most. like this is so smart. Did you just melt last weekend? Yeah. In this country, it was yeah. horribly, yeah, I mean, horribly hot. Ninety some degrees. What five days in a row? Oh, it, it was. It hurt area. to go outside. It really did. I played golf those two days. I, was, oh. I had this air conditioner in my little mountain house where we were. <laughs> One air conditioner cooled 750 square feet. I know we only recommend it for 700. That it cooled but it down. But this is it cooled it down, and everybody's like. That's unreal. This one air conditioning unit is cooling this whole place, and it did, and we were comfortable. It was awesome. Comfort's key. While we're here, oh, well. Yeah, you can there see. There we go. It glows. You can see it at night. Well, <laughs> can you yeah. walk us through what all these buttons are okay, for, Okay, first Sean? here's your power button over here. This is your mode button. Right now it's got the little snowflake here, so we in there air conditioner mode. If I hit it again, you're going to see two teardrops or water drops. That's for the dehumidifier mode. If I hit it a third time, you'll see a little fan. That would be for the three-speed fan. Okay. This is the temperature it's telling us in our home. It is now 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if I want to change the temperature, I can go ahead and hit this down and put it to 65 degrees. I can go to 63. I can go all the way down to 61 degrees Ooh. meat locker cold. If that's how you like it, you can do that. Well, now, you know what's nice? You could do that in one room or on one floor. You don't have to do it through the whole house and pay all of that money to do that in the whole see, house. See, that's the key. That's why this is more efficient because yeah. most people that have the issues in our home, as you said, your basement's freezing, the mid-level's all right, but upstairs is too hot. So most people crank the thermostat down to compensate for the third floor, and you use so much more electricity when you do that. That's the wrong way to do it. A couple tips what you can do is get yourself a portable air conditioner Makes sense. to cool that room. The other thing too is close your vents on the lower floors. It'll force the air to go upstairs and make it a little easier for you. I have tried that, but... It doesn't work as good. I do that too. It just doesn't no. work. Uh, so we have it for you in the white. The black is going to be getting limited. We have a 150 left to go around in the black. We have the dark gray, which is going to be a deep, deep, deep rich gray. And then a little bit lighter than that. <laughs> Shocker, given the name, is the light gray, which almost has a little bit of a taupe. Yes, it does. Little tiny bit. That one's been our most popular. You get this home, you plug it in, you choose your temperature. So when we plug it in, it shows us the temperature in the room, and then yes. we arrow down to which temperature we want. Yeah. Here's your value. Instead of 599 and change, this is 439 and change. You are able to spread this, spread this out over six months at 7333 a month. You can do it on a cue card over 12 months at no extra charge for that interest. And it's reduced shipping and handling. You can't beat that. So you don't have to lift it up and put it. It's because this weighs what, about 69 pounds? Yes. You nope. don't have to lift it into your car. You just nope. get it delivered to your door. No, that's it. You might have to lift it up the front step. That's it. So it's designed for quiet cooling. Yes, it does make some noise. Just so you all know, mm -hmm. your refrigerator makes more noise than this does when it's on high. Yeah, this is not, and honestly, I like the sound of white noise. Yeah, it helps me sleep. It, uh, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. Not only is it cooling your bedroom, but it's that soft white but noise. But so you can still have it in the air conditioning mode mm -hmm. and have the fan speed on low, so then it's even quieter. You don't have to run it on the high setting on the fan. Okay. So a lot of people think everything's got to be maxed out to get the amount okay. of cool that you need. Not always the case. You can go ahead and you can turn that down. So when you turn that down, it quiets the unit down. I think dehumidifier, I think drip tray. Is there a drip tray? Where is it? What do I need to do with it? Okay. So unless you're Please. in an environment where you have humidity at 98% mm -hmm. for like a week straight, you're never going to have to empty a bucket or a pail on this. Okay. Because what it does, it collects it in the bottom. That little hamster wheel looking thing we showed you in the animation mm -hmm. pulverizes the water we collect in the bottom. Then we push it out the tube out here. That's why you have to have the tube connected. Or else you're just going to push it around your room. Now, this will remove 10 gallons of water in a 24 hour period of time. Wow. So you don't touch a thing. Now, if it's really severe, and I've used these in a garage with the garage door open and working on the car and stuff like that, if you get to the point where it can't handle the humidity that it's pushing out, you'll get a little icon that shows up. There's a little button on the bottom you just unscrew and empty it out. Okay. The little black plug you see on the Got bottom it. of the unit there. That's all you would do, but that's in very rare occasions that you might have to do that. Okay. There's really no maintenance with this guy. 
That's the beauty of it. You plug it in, there's a washable filter in the back. Again, here's the animation, those water droplets. We pulverize it and push it outside so you don't touch the bucket. Well, of and it's not super, super large. So it's about 17 and three quarter inches wide. It's 15 inches high. It's just under 29 yeah, I mean, inches deep. If I do this, I take up more space than this does. Your, your, your vent here is gonna be up to five feet it stretches and then the cord six and a half feet. But when you look at this, whether you do the white, whether you go for the black, whether it is the dark gray or whether, there's, whether it's the light gray, you have one unit that's AC, that's fan, that's dehumidifier, yeah. instead of having three multiple well, pieces over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these were great in their day, the window units, because that's all we had. That's, that was the only way to get cool.